Now, we all know this shit's gonna get blocked like that. But I'm gonna try it as well, uh, anyways. So, this is Miss Samantha Smith cover. Nah, I'm joking. This is Sam Smith singing No God. First of all, I'm an atheist, so this song must be for me. Now, I'm joking. He's probably saying that there is a God. I already know the stand on that. We, we all heard pray. Everyone prays in the end, except me. But, um, not to get sidetracked, um, Sam Smith, I am in love with his career. I think he has, he's so underrated in terms of his um, artistic expression. He went from being this ballad guy to developing into this pop persona to this now, whatever this is. I can't really tell just yet, and I haven't seen any music video for this era. So go on this journey with me, and if you want me to react to the whole um, album, let me know, and I'll do that. But this is just me kind of testing the waters, see how YouTube is going to react to this in terms of copyright and stuff like that. And then also do to see if uh, Sam Smith's fans are here. So let's listen. I'm very excited. Hopefully it's a ballad. You know, I love me a ballad. It sounds like it's going to be a ballad. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Give it the vocals. Also love, I love Sam's collaborators. I love um, what's his name, Jimmy. I can't remember his last name. He's a producer and a writer. He produced a lot of Sam's uh, bigger hits. He is so talented. They're kind of like, I don't want to say that, okay? Because with all the love to Sam Smith and all the love to Jimmy, but there's also always this pair of like Drake and Forty. Michael with Quincy, you know, everybody has their pairing of producer and singer, like Beyonce and The Dream. Everybody has that pairing. And I'm so happy for Sam to find his pairing so early on in his career, right? I think Jimmy produced his whole first album and they're just growing together. I don't know how you sleep at night. Mm -hmm. Why do you have to be in control? And the mixing is just chef's kiss. Wrong, baby, let it go. Let it go. Don't. Just because it's your opinion doesn't make it right. True. I say it because I care for you. Okay. I'm trying to be there. I have lots of opinions. A lot of people don't think I'm right. Wanna meet you halfway, baby. You just wanna fight. Beautiful I melody. Say it cause I care for you. I say it because I care. You're no God, you're no leader, you're no saint, you're no teacher, you're no God. I knew it wasn't going to be an atheist anthem, so I'll take it for what it is. You're no God, you're no God, you're no leader, you're no saint, you're no teacher, you're no God. Not the shut up in the background. <laughs> Y'all heard this. <laughs> Open to use your voice. Mm. Mm. They're your words, baby. It's your choice. Baby, it's your choice. Are you really Didn't that sound like another song? Da 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 da. That melody. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. If it's a nod to a different melody, let me know in the it's comments. I can choice. pick up on it. Baby, it's, Are you really it's like he almost went there with the harmonies. I'm trying to like listen to what my mind's playing right now. The boy is mine? Nah. Baby, I'm not sure. Baby, Are you really so scared to lose? Ah, so good. Baby, why are you trying to prove? You know, God, you know, teacher, you know, say. No 
I just need a, a touch more drama. Just give me a touch more drama. But it has um, a bridge. Chest. Give me the chest. So he's pitched down in the background vocals. Beautiful. They're cutting it to make it seems like uh, to make it seem like a sample. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm I'm just telling you, them, whoever's mixing it, I think Jimmy is also doing some mixing. I think I saw in uh, maybe How Do You Sleep that he's credited as a mixer. But whoever mixes for Sam is doing a perfection of a job. I and mean, if we're already talking about um, doing electronic music, not live music, then this is this is the peak of artistry of that. You know, without going into sound design, that's like too, I don't know what, dance EDM. This is obviously not dance EDM, not um, house. It's not centered around the instrumental. It's centered around the vocals. So this is art to me in that department of electronic production. And I, I, I also want to say, and this is probably a hot take, and I told you I have a lot of opinions, but again, Sam and his Smith and his Smith, Sam and his team, they don't get the respect that they deserve because everybody put um, Billie Eilish and Phineas in the forefront of pushing electronic production, at least from my point of view. But Sam and his guys are doing the same thing before Billy became Billy. Do you know what I mean? And they're still pushing the envelope forward and I'm not hearing them being praised for it. So this is just a hot take, no shade to Billy, no shade to Phineas, they are doing incredible things. I'm just saying, let's put Sam and his team on that pedestal a little bit because they, I think they do deserve the credit and I think that in the long run, people are going to look back and, th and they're going to go, well, Sam did it. Jimmy did it. You know, they did it before. Whatever. Whoever, whatever. Uh, this is what I'm talking about. Like, mixing. This is it. Also, those background vocals. So this is very interesting. It's Sam singing. He's probably singing it in a lower key and they're pitching it up, but transposing it down. It sounds like he was first transposed down and then pitched up. I'm not sure. Or maybe they just changed the format. Format of the song? Of the um, uh, acapella? And then there's definitely something there. And I'm not just talking about the distortion, which is very obvious that it's put into a heavy distortion. Beautiful, beautiful. But these notes are the notes that I want Sam to come back and hit. He used to do that a lot in his debut album. Um, go to his like higher range. I'm not sure which notes are those. I want to say E's. I want to say F's because this is like the, you know, the peak of the chest voice, especially for men. Um, or maybe just the C's, above the C's. Let's just go like that, above the C's. And we all know he had the C. But I don't think I've heard him being this chesty on anything above the C ever since he went through that vocal surgery. And he definitely has that. So it's just a matter of implementing it into the music. So 
But this this is definitely a high belt. This is above the sea for sure. Not sure which note is that. I don't know. And also love, when people belt this high, um, they tend to do what he just did. Let me do it. Right now. When it just like releases the air and the voice does that on its own. This is obviously head voice, what I did and not chest. But when you go into chest and you belt like that and release, and you just release, you're not worried about how it's going to sound. The voice does that, and it's so beautiful. I love that. Did you hear that? He did it one more time. Like, I don't think he's doing it on purpose. Beautiful. I can't wait to go to the album. Let me know if you want that. And, yeah. Let me know your thoughts.